Hello, everyone, and welcome to Taper Toys. Oh, ow, 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 I got my cat with me, and he's biting me. He's a little wired up. He's a great cat, but he's got too much energy. Okay. Um, okay, welcome to Taper Talk, getting right into this. I've already done a video on Trump last night. He said that the United States invented the wheel. Okay. His response to a question about Elon Musk and geniuses and the wheel and Edison is bizarre, stupid, and incoherent. So, you know, um, my first job, first real job, not real job, but first job I ever had, uh, I was a junior in high school. I guess I was 16 years old. I worked at a lake. Suntan Lake in Riverdale, New Jersey. The lake is no longer there, but my first job, I was psyched. Uh, my first interview, really, for a job, you know? And I got it, but um, a couple of questions. Now, it paid $2.85 an hour, which was below the minimum wage. Minimum wage at the time was $3.10. I got the job starting starting salary hourly rate two dollars and eighty five cents now I remember my boss van van Thompson by the way rest this rest in peace van but he asked a couple of questions now if I responded to the way Trump responds to questions I know totally different but still the way in an incoherent babbling nonsensical ridiculous like oh the United States invented the wheel or something blah, 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 repeating myself, I would not have gotten the job for $2.85. I would not have gotten the job. So my question is, how did Trump get through life? He's 73 years old. How did this guy even get a job being that dumb? Like, not only would is he in over his head for a job that pays, I used to always say footlocker, I think he'd be in over his head working at Fit Foot Locker at the at the as a cash as a cashier or salesperson, whatever, like making eighteen thousand dollars, maybe eighteen thousand dollars plus commission. I think he it would be too much for him. So here's the guy who has the most important job on the planet, President of the United States. I mean, it's just are we in the twilight zone? It's just so weird. I'm gonna play a little bit more of this. Here's actually, a, here's actually a little Bernie commercial. I'll play a, a, sl a small clip from from my favorite guy, David Pakman. I'll just hold up the phone. Oh, let, me, let me go back. It's hilarious. Ready? I'm, I'm not going to download David. I'm just going to hold up my phone for a bit. Okay, here we go. I have bizarre video of Donald Trump <laughs> rambling on CNBC, which has been released. I wanted to play this yesterday. just ran out of time. And among the really strange comments that Trump makes... Uh, talking about Tesla founder Elon Musk, which we'll get to because those comments are wacky as well. Trump seems to weirdly say that the United States invented the wheel or that an, an American inventor or an American entrepreneur invented the wheel. It's very weird video. Listen to this. It's crazy. It. Tesla's not worth more than GM and Ford. Do you have comments on Elon Musk? Well, you have to give him credit. I spoke to him very recently, and he's also doing the he rockets. Did. He likes rockets, and uh, he does good at rockets. <laughs> he, <laughs> he does like, good at rockets. He does good at rockets. What no the wings, fuck? No wings, no anything, and they're landing. I said, I've never seen <sighs> that before. And I was worried about him because he's one of our great geniuses, and we have to protect our geniuses. He is? You know, we have to okay. protect Thomas Edison and Thomas and Edison. To protect all fuck? of these people that uh, came up with originally the light bulb and uh, the wheel and all what of these the things. Fuck? He's one of our very smart saying? people, and we want to. Light bulb, a wheel. Uh, he's he's good bad. at rockets. He's uh, good at rockets. Shocking how well, you know, how it's come so fast. I mean, you go back a year. And they were talking about the end of the company. And now all of a sudden they're talking about these great things. He's going to be building a very big plant. So there's a lot here. Let's start with the wheel. <laughs> One of the great inventions, or maybe it's a discovery in human history, was that of the wheel. Now, I say invention or discovery because the physics concept of what a wheel is and what a wheel does as a way to move mass or to uh, accomplish work of different kinds... It existed in nature for a long time, but we can also say that it was invented in some specific forms by humans and applied to our problems. In any case, that's a different debate. Whether the wheel was invented or discovered 
It happened a very long time ago, probably the late Neolithic. We have examples of wheels actually from about 4500 BC, the potter's wheel, the earliest wheeled vehicles that happened in conjunction with domesticating horses. That's 6,500 years ago. Trump wants to protect great American inventors like those who invented the wheel. It's a very strange thing to say. Now, the other side of it, the cartoonish part is we got to protect our great American inventors who invented the wheel. The other part is he seems to consider Elon Musk one of our great geniuses, our great geniuses, he says. Remember that Elon Musk is South African, not American. <laughs> and I wonder whether South African immigrants are the people that Donald Trump envisions inviting to the United States, given his view of what immigration should be in the United States. Is South Africa in the Norway category or the S-hole country category in the mind of Donald Trump? I don't know. That's pretty uh, good. But it seems to be completely... He good at rockets. He good at rockets. Uh, light bulb. He good. I mean, bizarre. Um, and, and again, I, I, I think it's crazy when I have conversations with someone on the right. Well, again, criticizing the Democratic candidates and that's fine you can be critical but listen like compared to a guy who can't read and he good at rockets but fucking crazy man insane dumb as a box of fucking rocks all right good friends good books and a sleepy conscience peace love and understanding here on table talk